Yo, what is going on everybody? I am Canada Zone and I am finally here for our Miami Heat rebuild. Now, I wanted to do this over the summer when I was pumping out 2K rebuilds all the time, but the Western Conference had so much more going on that I just kept putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. But now, with the rumors of Jimmy and Pat Riley button heads, Jimmy's not gonna re-sign, all this news coming out, I, as much as I know that Jimmy is not going to get traded before the regular season starts in real life, or at least I don't think he will, I'm almost 100% certain that he will either opt into his player option at the end of the this year to be traded, or he will look for a sign and trade to be moved. So because of that, we've taken control of the Warriors here, a team who just lost Klay Thompson and is trying to keep that contention window open for this man right here. They're on similar timelines. Steph is 36, Jimmy's what, 35? 35 years old. They'll be able to, I'm actually gonna remove one of these picks. They're giving us two first because I mean, it's Jimmy Butler, he's not, he's not free. And Andrew Wiggins, we're taking on that salary and we're taking on DeAnthony Melton to make the money work and we're giving them Paley Larson to make the rosters work. So we are going to make this trade and then I am going to go through and unselect the Warriors so we can look at now trying to trade Tyler Harrow for, I mean, I'm really open to anything. If we can get a pick for him, that's great. If not, then so be it. Uh, I heart wouldn't work. Um, it doesn't look like a whole lot. Jet Howard, John Isaac, Rui and Gabe Vincent, OG campaign. Lowry can't get traded. Marcus Smart? Nah. Oof. Chris Middleton. I mean, Tyler Harrow is from Wisconsin, isn't he? Chris Middleton's got player option, or is he done at the end of the year? He's got a player option. We'll take on Chris. Cash money, Chris. We're blowing it up in Miami because um, our pick, I don't believe we have it. We don't. So, uh, actually, new feature I learned the other day. You can view our originally owned picks. So the Heat have our pick. So we need to, or the, the Thunder have our pick. So we need to talk to OKC about potentially getting that pick back because I'm willing to deal whatever. Kevin Love, like, if that's what it takes, that's what it takes give us oh it's lottery protected see now we could just trade for it back thunder would acquire four million more than allowed what if we what if we took dylan jones from you alec burks in a second you'll give us kenny hustle dude that's that's an easy trade easy trade easy trade all right I'm gonna set this rotation, we're gonna get to simulating, and I will see you guys at the trade deadline to try and sell off some more pieces. All right, I have found a trade here that I am kind of intrigued by. Anthony Simmons for Chris Middleton. They need the Blazers. Um, I don't want them to do it, but I think that at some point over the next two years, Anthony Simmons, Simons, forgive me, will be traded. I'm actually going to give them um, let's go with a future first, unprotected 2029. So, and we'll give them that Lakers second because we are giving them the technical better player, even though Chris Middleton can walk. So, we get that deal done. I think that's a fantastic trade. And now Fern gets to play the starting point guard minutes. All right, trade deadline is here. Bam is averaging 20 and 13 with over a steal and a half and almost a block and a half a night on almost career high efficiency. So my goal is to find Mr. Wiggins a home that is not in Miami for Brook Lopez, which is a first round pick. And we are going to scam the Milwaukee Bucks. We are going to get to simulating then and i will see you guys at the end of the regular season season has wrapped luka Doncic mvp riza shea rookie of the year men thompson six man of the year Wemby depoy most improved goes to men Jokic player or uh, clutch player of the year steve kerr and the warriors win 61 games with the addition of jimmy butler so that clearly worked out for them uh all nba teams i doubt we got anybody oh bam snuck on there hell yeah 
19 and 12 with a block and a half and a steal and a half. Excellent season from Bam. Did he steal? He also snuck onto all defensive second team. Dylan Jones, fourth in rookie of the year voting. As a 69 overall, that averaged 2.8 points, 3.2 rebounds, and 2.3 assists. So we obviously missed the playoffs. I don't know what seed we ended up being. Oops. NBA standings, we were the 12. Nice, 12 seed, which will put us as bottom four there. 32 wins. Well, okay, that's the seventh worst team. We're going to be close to that early lottery, which is what I wanted. Hopefully the Warriors go on a good run. I would like to see it actually be a successful playoff and they get bounced in five in the second round. We're at least going to get somebody who's a real life player instead of like in the Blazers video where we have the seventh pick. Please jump. Oh my God, we jumped. Oh my God, we're in the top four. That is, oh, that's huge. Top four pick, which means we're going to get a legit player. Unlike in the Blazers video where we have to trade out of the pick because it's all just auto-generated roster filler guys. If we're going to jump into the top four, we're not going to be fourth. Watch. Oh my God. And if we're, if we're top three, are we really going to be three? Let's think about it. We're not going to be three. You know what? Third pick. We have two picks in the first round. We're getting Ace Bailey, Cooper Flag, or Nolan Traor. That's the big three. That's what I'm going with. First overall pick is Ace Bailey. Okay, hold on. Grizzlies have the second pick. If we can trade up and land Cooper Flag from the Memphis Grizzlies, I will lose my mind. Oh my god, they just want a first? Dude. Oh my god, give me Cooper Flag. What immaculate draft luck. Dude, we gave them picks three. So they got Nolan Traor, but whatever. We got the best player in the draft. We gave them three and 29, who they used to take Jimmy Crawford. So player progression, Bam is an 89. Jaime is an 84. Nikolajovic is an 82 now. And Fernie's up to an 81. Cooper obviously is an 81. Kelware is a 79. Up nine in the G. Holy crap. Isaac Okoro's a 78. That's great. Brooke Lopez regresses, but that's fine. Tim Hardaway Jr., um, Torian Prince. Duncan Robinson regresses, but he'll be gone after this year. And Dylan Jones even up to a 72. So coach game plan for this year. We're going to be running, yeah, Fern, Jaime, Coop, Jovic with... Kel Ware getting 20 a night off the bench in his first year. Isaac Okoro, I didn't pay him just to come here and watch, so he's going to be our sixth man. As of right now, this is the rotation. I am going to get to simulating, and depending on how the season's going, I will either see you guys at the trade deadline or at the end of the regular season. First trade of the season, we're off to a really good start with a three seed in the East, but I want a backup point guard or a guy who can play at the one and put Anferni at the two. Either or, I want to pick up Tyus Jones. So... We're not able to get it done with just the players, but I am willing to give up our pick this year. Boom. That's actually a lot bigger than you would think because now that gives us room to move either Nikola Jovic, it's looking like it's going to be Jovic, to the bench to be a six man for us. And we get to put Tyus Jones into the top of the rotation. Okay. It is almost a guarantee that this trade does not go through. All they want is one more pick. Uh, so Jaron Jackson Jr. is now a member of our team. We've got, what, 36 wins at the deadline? 37 wins at the deadline. I'm going to see you guys at the end of the regular season, and we're pushing for a ring now. Closing out the season now, 62-20, and 20, Wemby MVP, Cooper Flag, Rookie of the Year, 18, 8, and 4 a night with over a steal and a block. Terry Rozier, Sixth Man of the Year in OKC. Wemby Depoy, Alexander Saar, Most Improved. Cade Cunningham averages almost 30 a night. As we get Executive of the Year, I guess we did make a pretty big trade. Uh, nobody on All-NBA first, nobody on All-NBA second, and nobody on All-NBA third team, unfortunately. Uh, all defensive teams, we somehow don't get a BAM appearance. That's unfortunate. Um, rookie teams go as such. Kel Ware makes all, all rookie second team in his first official season. No 20 point per game scorers, but four el three elite scoring players. 20, almost 20 a night for Anferni, 19 and 11 for Bam, 
18, 8, and 4 for Coop. 15 and 5 for Jaron Jackson. 15, 4, and 3 for Jaime Hawkins. 13 and 6 for Nikolajovic, who we did sign to a four year extension, by the way, worth about $58 million. Tim Hardaway Jr. gave us 11 in the games he played. Tyus Jones gave us 9 and 4 with a way too high turnover ratio. Like, the dude, the numbers this guy puts up one turnover a game, seven assists. How does he not average any assists in 2K? This game, like, every year, he's like an average playmaker this guy's one of the best playmakers in basketball so we get the pistons in round number one which concerns me because k just averaged a 30 ball this season they have isaiah hartenstein now but i think we are the better team so for our first playoff series of the video we go down one nothing to start but we tie it back up we go down two to one tie it up two to two we go up three to two please just get out in six Oh, come on. Game seven. Oh, thank you. Good Lord. We get Cleveland in the second round. Hopefully, Tyler Kolick is their starting one now. So Darius Garland is gone, I guess. And again, like, dude, we are so much better than this team. Game number one, we take. Game number two, we lose. Game three, we lose. Game four, we take. All right. Game five, rubber match. We lose game number six. Come on, bring it to seven. Damn. So after a 62 win season, the Mavs and the, oh my God, the Blazers made the finals. Who is on this Blazers team? Scoot, Shaden, Chris, Denny, Mitch, Rob. Damn, they're going to get swept by Boston. There's no way. Okay, they lost in six. Isaac Okoro and the 14th pick. What does that give us? Emmanuel quickly in a first. DeAndre Hunter, Stephen Adams. Trey Mann was pretty good. Mo Wagner was also pretty good. You know what? We're doing the Raptors deal. And with that, that ends our draft night. And I am going to go through free agency, and I'll see you guys at player progression. Player progression's here. Obviously, Bam, 29 years old, not much more room for progression, but he's getting smarter. Uh, Jaron Jackson, same deal. 26 years old is regressing, but... Uh, also getting smarter. Cooper Flagg is an 86 now. Jaime Hawkins is an 85. Change his position to a two guard. Um, probably would have been an 86 or an 87 if he was a three, but we switched him to the shooting guard role. And Fernie, after switching him back to a shooting guard, he went up two, so he really only progressed one. So now he's an 85. Jovic is an 83. Kel Ware is an 82 after switching him to a power forward. Trey, Tyus Jones, forgive me, tried to sign his brother Trey. He is now an 80. Trey Mann is an 80 as well dylan jones is up to a 77 now he's actually progressing like really well this is a little project play for us from weber state like dame depending on whether we need to make a move or not i will either see you guys like i said at the trade deadline or again at the end of the regular season so i will see you guys in a bit award time mvp rookie of the year uh six man of the year depoy most improved clutch player we got coach of the year 59 wins and executive of the year no all nba appearances again uh nobody on all defensive either all rookies we didn't have anybody and we were the one seed in the east for the second straight season trey jones or tyus jones forgive me came in had a bit of a regression year in scoring but the assists went up and the turnovers went down and fernie averaged 17 4 and 4 on elite shooting cooper 18 9 and 4 on elite shooting jaron took a step back offensively but i know he's playing good defense Bam took a step back as well, but there's more mouths to feed. Jaime has almost a career year scoring coming off the bench. Nikola Jovic, a fantastic year for us coming off the bench as well. Uh, Trey Mann had to take a back seat in minutes, and he didn't get to be the starter this year, but 9 3 and 3 on elite shooting as well. Mo Wagner came in and played some minutes for us down the stretch. We get the Brooklyn Nets in round number one, who do have Jalen Green and De'Aaron Fox somehow. But aside from Nick Claxton up the middle, they're kind of thin. So game number one goes to the Nets. Game number two to us. Game number three to us. Game number four to us. And game number five, we get out of there in five. That's wonderful. Most successful first round series yet. Now we get Charlotte, which should be something of, oh, they have Ace Bailey. Okay. So preemptive move. Dylan Jones, as much as I love him, and he's playing great, we got to get the minutes to the big guys. 34 to Bam, 32 to Fern, 38 to Coop. I think that's how we're going to rock it. 
And game number one against Charlotte, we take. Game two is ours. Game number three to us. Game number four. And we sweep. And we are in the conference finals for the first time since our last finals run, actually. We get the Pacers, which looks like uh, Reese, Nemhard, um, Chris Middleton, Pascal, and Miles Turner. So that's a really good team. But I still think we're better. Game number one goes to us. Game two to us. Game number three to the Heat. Game number four. We sweep our way through the conference semis and finals. Amen Thompson, Bam Adebayo are your conference finals MVP. And we get the Houston Rockets, who have Jamal Murray, Amen Thompson, Cam Whitmore, Jabari Smith Jr., and Alperen Shangun. I think we're the better team. Game number one, we take it. Game two is ours. Game number three, that is not what I wanted to do. God damn. Hopefully that means we took it. Uh, we did. 103 to 92. You see that there in the top left of your screen. Wow, this loads back in now. We are up 3-0 in the NBA Finals. Game number four, we will simulcast this one all the way to the finish. We're getting blown out here. Oh, we, we've come all the way back now after falling behind. And it's looking, oh my God, it's tied. Oh my God, we just went on a killer run. And there it is. The Miami Heat in 2027 are able to pull off an NBA championship with Cooper Flagg averaging 27, 14, and eight with a steal, two and a half blocks with immaculate efficiency. So that's gonna do it for the rebuild. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.